Okay guys, going to do another wee fly today, a uh, wee hopper, with a bit of foam in the front, so I think they're called popper hoppers. Now this is quite a big fly, but it really lies very, very flat on the surface. You should hardly be able to see this fly. Hook and device is a Camasan B400, but you could use um, any kind of slightly longer shank hook, so a full mill all purpose uh, is a good fly, good hook for that. Thread, yellow. Just to match the body colour, I'm going to use an olive seals fur on this, so you can use that kind of colours. Uh, if you're using darker colours, you could use maybe a red or a black thread. So, put down a bed of thread, just behind the eye, cut away the waist. Now, I make my own to record and just cut it out of foam blocks, and I use these cutters here. So coming with six different sizes, ideal. So what I've done is I've cut a piece of yellow foam um, and what to do is kind of rip the end and it squashes it in a wee bit and then you can pinch and loop that on the top of the hook. Cut all those turns and then tighten down. Just make sure it stays on the top and then use your thread to crush down the excess foam and that ties it in. Okay, still on the top, still nice and straight. Leave it long because you can cut that back to suit. And then simply take your thread down the hook, touch and turns until you get to a point between the point of the hook and the barb. Now you can tie these flies in a multitude of colours, reds, clarets, blacks, orange, olive, amber, whatever. So you can create a series of flies with this. I'm going to use this light all of today. Uh, before we do that, the rib is Pearl um, Open Barrage. Now this is a large. What I like to do is give it a slight stretch and it changes the colour. It goes kind of blue. Quite like that. So tie that in on the side. So back to your seals fur. So this is a say as an olive. I tend to find I do better with a claret and a black and then an olive. Um sort of hot orange and that doesn't seem to work for me too much. So a thin spindle of dubbing down your thread. And keep the body nice and thin. You actually want the body to sink into the surface, so you don't want too heavy a dressing on that. Keep it quite thin. You can taper it a wee bit up towards the head, put a wee bit extra seals for here, which will help to float it a wee bit better. But basically, you want this fly to kind of hang for the surface from about here. And that's the only bit that's sticking above the surface, and you try and get the rest to sink. So it's like a semi-emerger. So take that there and then rub your body with your tinsel. You can use a metallic tinsel, you can use any kind of tinsel you want. Okay, so tie that off. Cut away the waste. Now, hackle. I like to use a wee soft hen hackle, just a wee cheap uh, Indian neck and put a bit of hen hackle on it because it's soft and it just helps to hang the fly in the surface. I don't want this a high right, high floating fly, this is not what this is about. So just prepare your hackle in the same way, take the fluff off, expose the tip, tie it in by the tip, a couple of turns, fold the tip back, tie that in, nice and secure. Cut away the, the waste. Take your hackle pliers and wind on maybe a turn, turn and a half. A hackle. You don't need a lot of hackle for this. A lot of the buoyancy will come through the foam. So this is just to create a bit of life and a bit of movement. Now, 
I like to just fold that back, crush it back a wee bit. Then legs. Knotted pheasant tail. You can see I went through this. Um, three legs either side. So you want to tie them in, three to the side, and the length should just be sort of trailing behind the hook. So tie them in. I like to keep them above the middle, so almost on top. But it doesn't matter, fish don't care. It just helps to keep the profile of the fly quite high riding, so it sits quite high on the surface. This bit will lie flat and the body will kind of hang below it. So that's the kind of general idea. So legs tied in. Um, for a wee bit of collar here, a wee bit of hackle, if you like, a wee bit of cover up. Not so much a hackle, just a wee collar at the behind the hack, in front of the hackle. But a seal's fur again. I like this. I really, really like this for a lot of different flies. So, just put a wee dubbing on there. A wee bit on your thread. Nice and thin. So put a couple of turns at the roots. And then pull your foam back. Put a wee bit in front. And that'll help to set up the foam. And tidy up the front of the fly. And then... <coughs> Straight in with a whip finish. So four turn whip finish and then back in do another one. No do any harm. A spot of varnish. So spot of varnish on the thread. And then, again, take your dubbing brush, pull your foam down at the road, and kind of work some of that. Here's your dubbing through the fly. Just bruises of it and up, blends of it and up. Now, you can leave that long, and on the day you could probably decide, well, it's got too much foam, we'll cut it back, cut it back. Um, if it's a bigger wave, you might need some of that foam, but generally I just cut it about there. Okay, so that's your popper hopper. Fish it in a nice wave, nice rolling wave, maybe a couple of bob bits or something like that, further up, uh, cripple midge, something like that on the dropper, and this is your point fly. Make sure it's well sunk down, sort of grease this area here, let this back part sink. Okay guys, hope you enjoyed that.